Hey everyone, it's Amber here. Welcome back to the Photo Booth Supply Co. YouTube channel. I'm here to talk about my second month of photo booth ownership. Now, I'm not gonna lie, October 2023 was already a pretty crazy month for me in my personal life, so I didn't make as much progress in my photo booth business as I wanted to, but I am really happy with the place that we're at now. So here's a little recap of what's happened since we last talked. First and foremost, I bought my booth. Woohoo! Super exciting. I know it was obviously a very necessary step. So I got my booth. I got everything tested out. It's working beautifully. And I'm super excited to actually get this thing out in the wild to my first event. The almost immediately next thing that I did was I signed up for a salsa onboarding. Now, I actually didn't know these existed for a while because when I first started working at Photo Booth Supply Co, they were not a thing. It was something that evolved over time that really came from a need of people really needing a crash course on all things salsa app. It was completely free to me as a photo booth owner. And if you are a photo booth owner who hasn't taken one of these yet, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description for you to check that out. I had Colin as my onboarding specialist and he was wonderful. He was super funny, super helpful, and I was really grateful to have him on my side. Once I finished my onboarding, I had so much content to just absorb like a little sponge. So I dove right into the Photo Booth Academy, which if you don't know, the Photo Booth Academy is essentially a masterclass on all things Photo Booth that comes with your software. So what's really exciting about that for me is that I am a complete newbie to this thing. So there are a lot of questions that I have kind of as I go. There is a video for pretty much every type of question that I could have. Some of my favorites that I've watched so far is how to close sales over the phone, all about accounting. It wasn't fun, but it was necessary and pricing. I especially loved the pricing video because it really opened my eyes to some expenses that I really hadn't considered yet when creating my quotes and my prices. Now, generally speaking, Photo Booth Supply Co. recommends a package sort of system to get started. However, I'm actually going to try something a little bit different. While I think the packages method is super valid, I want to try something else, more of a catered and custom approach, but I will still have sort of like a bottom line pricing. So that way I can say, you know, services start at blank. Essentially what having this sort of like minimum price point will do is sort of weed out anybody who that doesn't fit into their budget, but it will also open people's eyes as to like where pricing starts and maybe what they can expect for something a little bit more extravagant. Another video from the Photo Booth Academy I really, really loved was all about finding your niche. And this is where I feel like my business really started to take form. Now, don't get me wrong, I am not completely writing off any type of event yet. As a new photo booth owner, I do want to try out different types of events. However, the more I think about the type of events that I want to do and the people that I really want to help, I really do want to get into corporate and small business because I have a lot of personal experience with small business owners. I love supporting small businesses and local businesses in my area. And I just think it would be a really fun way to get more in touch with my community. I used to work for a local nonprofit in my area, so I do have some connections to different businesses in my community. So I'm gonna see how I can leverage those to potentially get some of my first few events. But this does mean I will be doing a little bit of cold emailing, which I'm fully prepared to get a ton of rejection or even just, you know, be ghosted completely. But I think it'll be worth it to find those clients who will really find value in what I have to offer. Other things that I've been doing are investing in some other equipment. So for Amazon Prime Day, I went ahead and purchased an Anker battery pack. This is gonna allow me to not necessarily need to be tethered to um, a wall outlet or a power source. I could essentially just have my own power for my salsa booth. I'm also about to pull the plug on some extra lighting. I think extra lighting just makes such a difference in any type of scenario, no matter what type of booth you have. So I wanna get at least one set of extra lights, possibly two. I am going for a really premium experience and I am going for something that nobody has to worry about. Like I want to make it so easy for everyone that hires me so that they know they call me and I'm going to handle everything. Now, as far as pricing goes, I believe I'm going to start my minimum pricing at $750. I downloaded the spreadsheet that was included with the pricing video in the Photo Booth Academy, and that was really eye-opening, like I mentioned. So I think my minimum pricing for a four-hour event needs to be $750. But depending on the needs of the business or the event or whatever it is, obviously there will be some flexibility and the option to go super custom. Overall, I'm feeling really excited. I also recently opened up on social media about sort of my why as to like, why am I even doing this? I've been showing you guys a lot of like the building blocks of starting this business, not necessarily saying like, why the heck am I doing this? 
Truth be told, I am in my late 20s. It is sort of like a pivotal moment, I feel like, in my life. I am a millennial, so I would love to buy a house, even though it seems really hard. I don't think it's impossible. I would love to be able to go on a really nice international vacation with my boyfriend. I used to live in Australia for a while, and I've been wanting to go back there. Not to mention a couple of projects and things around the house that could really use taking care of or upgrading. I would love nothing more than come next holiday season to have enough disposable income to really go crazy and spoil my loved ones with like amazing presents. I also used to be a huge traveler and ever since the pandemic, I haven't gotten the chance to travel that much and I really miss it. So I would love to get over maybe to Europe or to Asia or to Australia at some point in the next year. It's so crazy because you set these audacious goals or you have these things that you want, but so rarely I find do we actually attach an action plan to get to them. And it's exciting because it feels like I finally have it. So all that to say, Things are going well, they're going slow but steady. Again, I was balancing starting this business with a lot of things in my personal life, but I was still able to make time for it because it's important to me. What I'm gonna be doing next is getting in touch with some amazing small businesses in my area, seeing who has a need for this holiday season and trying to get my first couple of events in the books. If you've been enjoying this type of content, make sure you're following us on social media as I am posting more regular updates over there. And of course, if you're interested in getting a photo booth business of your own, be sure to check out the description. I will put all of the important links down there below. Thank you to everyone who has been so supportive so far. I can't wait for the next month. I think next month is going to be crazy, but in the best possible way. So I'll keep you posted. Bye.